I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to make quick decisions. The reason this is a great exercise is because if you ever play with people who are a little more advanced than you, you'll desensitize yourself from playing faster, making quick decisions. Also, if you ever want to play online or play in a tournament, games are timed. So if you have a set at home and a stopwatch, give this exercise a try. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three sprints. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We're gonna alternate between the dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. All right, we have Joker East, one, five, six, eight, two, four, seven, nine, four, five, six, eight. So we have no multiples. I would go with a predominant pattern. To me is either four, five, six, or two, four, six, eight. So let's keep these tiles and pass these three. Threes. Okay, three, four, five, three, four, five, six. Four numbers in a range around the multiple. One, two, three, four could work. Three, four, five, six. Oh, there's like numbers. Three, four, five, three, four, five, one, two, five, six. Let's let a six go. We got a one and a three and a five. Let's let the six go. So we have one, two, three, four, two multiples. One, two, three, four. We also have a potential for three, four, three, four, five. Three, four, three, four, five. Let's pass these three. Four, five. Four, three, four, three, four, five. We have two tiles to pass. We're, we're at for a second left. So one, two, three, four, or three, four, three, four, five. I think that's what I would do. Three, four, three, four, five. No keepers. We did get that one again. Two bam. Maybe the one, two, three, four would have been better. Let's do, let's keep it and do one pass blind. We got the two. One, two, three, four. And then for optional, I would go ahead and break that up and do three. Maybe we'll get the one bam back. Nope lap. So we have one, two, three, four. If you make a mistake, that's okay, especially if we're, you're playing a hand like this where you can pung kong, pung kong. We can use this to help us get the pung and then kong here, pung here. We just need a little help with our four. So three, four, three, four, five was a good choice, but this one, two, three, four with this pung that developed, I think was a better choice. If you would have done something different, write it in the comment section below. This is sprint one. Flowers, almost news, two, three, six, three, six, three, four. I think I would try for 
like numbers with news and threes or maybe twos. We have to make a choice. We've got a two there. We have threes. Let's keep the two and let a three go. Twos. That was a good choice. Build around the multiple if you can. We're going to risk passing that white dragon. No keepers. Let's see. That's This can be eh, a six, one, half dozen, the other. Three. Oh, we let a three go. Let's stick with it. We want twos. Oh, there's a flower. We could do all the twos. We got a west. Maybe we could do east and west with twos, but we have all those flowers. Maybe we could do a quint. We have no jokers. Let's pass those. No keepers. Optional. Lap. Okay. We have three discards. Well, really, we have four. And then an option. We won't be able to use both twos, but we almost have news. We need a south and then build up our twos. I think that was pretty successful. If you would have done something different, write sprint two and what you, you would have done with these tiles. Joker, White Dragon, South, 6, 7, 3, 5, 9, 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, 9. We have no multiples, so we need to choose a predominant pattern. So I would definitely let the South go. We've got a lot of 5, 7, 9. Let's do 5 through 9 and let the little numbers go. And we could do consecutive. I don't like passing White Dragon, so we'll see there. But let's pass these three. Oh, I forgot to do the Charleston. Oh, let's stop. And then we'll restart. Okay, let me make the Charleston. All right, here we go. All right, so we've got eights. Eights and a six. Six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine. Consecutive run. That's what I would focus on. Let's pass four, five, seven. Oh, three, six, nine. That's not good. Three. Either way, this is going to be a little risky. Whoops. Okay, we've got a nine bam. Let's just keep that. Let's see. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine. No, we don't need it. Okay, let's break out these cracks. Let's do these three. Oh, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so let's do one of each suit. Seven. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to pass flower. Now, this is a little risky, seven, nine. But we've got a solid hand here. No keepers there. Picked up a pair of white dragons. I don't like passing white dragons. We're so close, though. Well, not quite. That needs help. Let's pass one blind. We have a ways to go with that. Okay, now, now we have to pass optional. I think I'd rather hold it and do two. Lap. Okay, so we have, oh, Joker bait, three discards, six, seven, eight, nine. We can use this here or here. We just need help a little bit right there, but we can use any number of Jokers with this hand. Pung Kong, Pung Kong. We have Joker bait. If you want to know more about that strategy, there are links in the video description below. That is a term coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. 
we have three discards. Not a bad Charleston. Let's see how things went with time. If you decide to do this exercise at home, pay special attention to the way you pass because if you are pushing yourself to make quick decisions, you may see that you're passing very risky tiles. So try to still focus on passing defensively while making quick decisions. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.